All right, guys, what's going on? It's Kerm Magoo Sports. So Brian Harson is on the fence at Auburn. Scandalous behavior. Um, he's waiting in the wings, I guess you could say, of possibly being fired by the Auburn Tigers. Um, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, uh, for the University of Auburn. This sucks, you know. Alan Green likely going to be fired. He goes against the boosters. This is what happens. It's tough. It's a tough job. It's a tough small town, Auburn, Alabama. It's tight with boosters. And, you know, Brian Harson might have done it to himself with the way he's treated the players, allegedly. He doesn't have a lot of friends that are at the University of Auburn. He's a very tough coach. But, but again, you know, you got to have players uh, that, you know, are, are quote unquote your guys. And when the boosters don't like you and the fact that you didn't go to Charles, to Bo Jackson's golf tournament and the fact that you don't do the, the stuff to acquaint yourself with the university, um, you know, it's going to be hard to be welcomed into the Auburn family, specifically if you're from Boise, Idaho and have no ties to the state. And also if the boosters are not aligned with you and they're not aligned with, with Brian Harson whatsoever in this process. So in some ways in college football, you got to play the game to be in the game. Um, and Alan Green, he went out on a limb, went against the boosters, and the coach has got to be unbelievable if you're going to go up uh, against, uh, you know, against the boosters. And you look at what Gus did; he, he would constantly get them to eight and four. I know he brought them the one championship, but he was very, very inconsistent. But at least they won a couple of Iron Bowls over Nick Saban and Brian Harson. If they would have won that Iron Bowl, it would have went such a long way. And then the way they choked against Houston in the bowl game as well. Bo Nix ends up leaving. A lot of players end up transferring out of Auburn. So Smoke Monday declares for the draft. Uh, the coordinators all leaving. It's a disaster on the planes. Uh, Austin Davis ends up leaving after you hire him, and then you're quoted as saying uh, that for some reason – Austin Davis, you didn't believe in him, but yet you hired him. You didn't do a press conference on signing day. I mean, the fact is for Brian Harson, I mean, the seat is scorching hot right now. How is he going to proceed if, if players are coming for his head, if there's scandalous allegations, if he can't get an offensive or defensive coordinator, how do you expect to stay at the University of Auburn if you are Brian Harson and you are an outsider and the boosters already hate you. So this thing's going to end, and eventually it's going to be either Urban Meyer, it's going to be for the University of Auburn, maybe Kevin Steele.